Let's take a look at some need to know details to succeed with seasonal printables. The goal of today's video is to show you the first steps to understanding the printables market and discovering where you should sell your products. We'll cover why you need to get products in your shop early if you're considering seasonal printables, what specific things you should be researching about your competitor, how to set competitive but profitable prices. You don't want to over or under price yourself here and how to use tags and keywords in your product descriptions. So when considering seasonal printables, which are printables focused on a specific holiday or time of the year, it is super important to get your products in your shop in advance. Most people want to buy holiday printables weeks or even months in advance of the actual holidays so that when the time rolls around, they've already got what they need. So if you're putting your seasonal printables in your shop a week before the holiday, you're going to miss out on a lot of potential sales. I would recommend at least four to six weeks and eight weeks on the outside would be ideal before a holiday to get your product into your shop. You need to do your research. You should never underestimate the power of research because it really can impact your traffic and sales. There's three questions that you should be asking yourself to make sure that you're selecting products that are really going to sell. The first one is, is the product something people are searching for? If there's not an audience for a product, it's gonna be really difficult to sell. So you need to get online and figure out if people are actually looking for what you're thinking of making. For example, if you're gonna make something like this New Year's Eve emoji Pictionary that we have here in our example, you'll wanna go and do some research on Google or Pinterest trends. Maybe you want to subscribe to E-Rank to look kind of at the statistics, how many people are actually using these search terms every month. If the number's high enough, that tells you that this could be a profitable category. It seems like there is an audience out there that is interested in purchasing this product. The second question you need to determine is how much competition is there? Even if people are searching for your product, if there's 4,000 other people that have already made this product, it's going to be really difficult for you to get your version in front of your potential audience. Uh, you might be showing up on page, you know, 25 of the Etsy search results and almost no one clicks through 25 pages. So you're just not going to be able to get a lot of people to see your product. In general, on Etsy specifically, if there are more than 685 products, that means that it's pretty competitive and you might want to try a different product or a different version of that product. And the third question you need to ask yourself is, what should I price my product at? If you are severely underpricing your product, people tend to look at it and go, why is this so cheap? Is this not good quality for some reason? If you overprice your product, people are less likely to purchase it simply because they have tons of choices that cost less. So you really want your price to be in a similar range to the other sellers that are selling similar types of items. You can also give your customers more perceived value um, through bundling. So if you decide that you've got for example, here we have some printable Advent Christmas cards. This is a bundle of cards. There's 24 of them and they come in different colors and sizes. So the customer can sort of do some editing. They can use them for a variety of different things. And so this feels more valuable than something like a single. So you can definitely increase the perceived value of your product by including sort of more of them. So a bundle of worksheets or a bundle of party games or a bundle of advent cards. You can charge a little bit more because the perceived value is higher. Okay, so you've done your research. You've picked out a product that seems to be popular. You have an audience for it. You have determined the correct price so that you're in line with other products. And you've made sure that there's not too much competition. So how can you help your audience find your products? You need to think through the search terms that your customers are likely to use. So let's take a look at tags and keywords. On Etsy specifically, you can use up to 13 tags per product and you absolutely should. Do not snooze on using all 13 tags. The key is that you want to choose a variety of tags that kind of mix up your key search terms. 
Keywords are just as important as tags. So you're going to want to use your most important keywords in your product title and the first sentence or two of your product listing. Note that there is going to be a lot of overlap between tags and keywords because they basically serve the same purpose. So here's a quick example. We've got here a bingo Halloween themed class activity from Teachers Pay Teachers and some terms that they could use here, charades game, elementary school, classroom activity, Halloween party. What I want you to notice about those four is there's not too much overlap. So someone that comes looking for a Halloween party game will see this listing. The same thing if someone comes looking for a charades game. So by varying their keywords, they're tapping into a larger possible audience. If you want to learn even more about how to succeed with seasonal printables, my product Succeed with Seasonal Printables reveals the top selling seasonal printables and low content niches all year long. It's specially designed to teach you how to make regular sales. It's got tons of tips and tricks and done for you templates. So you'll be ready to start listing your products right away. There's no special skills or experience required. It's perfect for people who are looking to make money all year long, creators of any skill set. So no matter if you are trying out printables for the very first time or you already have a bustling shop, there is tons of information in this product for you. To learn more about Succeed with Seasonal Printables, check out my website, Succeed with them, and that's Succeed with Seasonal Printables.